Andy Roddick, thank you for playing HBWorldTour.com tiebreak quiz. Your first of seven questions. Who did you beat in your first ATP World Tour final, and what was the score? I beat Xavier Melis, and it was 6-2, 6-4. Spot on, good start. In 2004, you won a career-high number of matches. Can you remember how many wins you had that year? Yeah, well, I'm going to guess here. It was uh, 03, I had 71, so it's got to be more than 73. 74, but that's almost good enough to give you, uh, give you a pass on that. <laughs> A little curly one here. What is your highest doubles ranking? Uh, 87. Spot on. In the 2003 US Open semi-finals, you saved a match point to beat Nal Bandia. Yeah. Can you tell me what the full score of that match was? 6 either 3 or 4. I'm going to go with 3. You are right on the money. I'm not going to press you for the tie-break scores, but... No, uh, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that is solid. All right, come on, I can get you get you with this one. How many players have ever held the ATP World Tour number one ranking? Is it 24? It certainly is. Man, I've got to come up with some tougher questions. How many times did Bjorn Borg win Roland Garros in Wimbledon in the same year? Five. Uno, just three. Really? Yeah. I'm giving him too much credit there. Jeez, I guess so. All right, and finally, Andy, which player held the uh, the world number one ranking for one week only? Was it Carlos Moya? He had it for two weeks. So it was I don't think it was Rios. Was it Pat Rafter? It certainly was. 1999. Thanks, Andy. You no passed with flying colors. <laughs> All right, thanks.